Hello and welcome back. Today we will talk about the bony landmarks of the body. In general, there are two kinds of landmarks: the depression or the projection. As the bone gets remodeled, there are some landmarks on it. that helps us to identify the other structures for example the muscles i have divided them in depressions and projections to make it easier for you to understand let's start with the depressions the depressions develop on the bones as the result of a compression during development for example the passages for the nerves vessel or the tendons of the muscle to make them further easier i have compared and contrasted them like fossa fovea and sulcus the fossa is a deep depression the fovea is a shallow depression and sulcus is a depression with some length If you remember the terms it will be easier for you to study any bone they are named further according to their according to the attachments or the location where they are present for example the anterior cranial fossa the middle cranial fossa or the posterior cranial fossa fossa is a deep depression and they are named because they are present in our cranial bones and on the basis of their position anterior middle and posterior now it's easy for you to understand the anterior cranial fossa the middle cranial fossa and the posterior cranial fossa then the fovea shallow depression the example is the fovea on the head of the femur and the sulcus intertubercular sulcus of the humerus the sulcus is a depression with some length and why it is named as intertubercular because it is present between two tubercles and what are the tubercles we will study it later in these slides now the fissure and the foramen fissures is a narrow slit between two adjacent bones while a foramen is an opening in the bone the example of the fissure is a superior orbital fissure and the inferior orbital fissure as they are present in the orbit superiorly and inferiorly and the example of the foramen are the infra orbital foramen because they are present below the orbit and the mental foramen because they are present in the mandibular bone then the meatus meatus or a canal the example of the meatus is the external acoustic meatus of the ear then the projections projections usually develop due to the pull for example the pull of the muscle or a ligament on the bone they are further divided into articular projections and non articular projections the articular projection include a head condyles and the facet the head is present above the neck for example the head of the femur and it has an articular facet that make a joint hip joint or the condyles are the rounded projections with the facet on it that articulates with the other bone here is the example of the condyles of the femur that articulates with the tibia to form the knee joint and the clavicular facet on the scapula the facet is a 
फ्लैट स्मूथ प्रोजेक्शन टन द नॉन आर्टिकुलर प्रोसेसेस इट इंक्लूड्स ए क्रेस्ट एंड अ लाइन वी विल कंपेयर बोथ ऑफ देम द लाइन एंड क्रेस्ट बोथ आर ए रिजेस लाइन इज अ थिन लॉन्ग रिच वाइल द क्रेस्ट इज अ थिक रिच द एग्जाम्पल इज द पैक्टीनियल लाइन ऑफ द फीम और द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द क्रेस्ट इज द इंटर ट्रोकेंटेरिक क्रेस्ट बिकॉज इट इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन टू ट्रोकेंटर्स एंड वट आर द ट्रोकेंटर्स ट्रोकेंटर इज ए राउंडेड नॉन आर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ द बोन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द ग्रेटर ट्रोकेंटर एंड द लेसर ट्रोकेंटर ऑफ द फीमर Now the tubercle. Tubercle is a small rounded projection on the bone. Example is the greater tubercle and the lesser tubercle. The point to remember they are non-articular and give attachments to the muscles or the ligaments. Then the tuberosity. Tuberosity is of variable shape but large and rough in nature example is the deltoid tuberosity or the gluteal tuberosity then the spinous process spinous process is a slender shaped sharp process as the spinous process of the vertebras and an epicondyle epi means above it's above condyle it's a non articular projection above condyles example is the epicondyles of the femur if you like my video to spot like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you